Probably a combination of things. Certainly growing up at home with a father who's an apologist who is passionate about it. I saw him affecting lives through it. Would engage me and my sisters with apologetic questions and, and other issues growing up. That certainly is a, a piece of the puzzle that I can't ignore. Although when I first started, there were a lot of questions like, do I want to enter into this realm where my dad has been remarkably successful? Right. Yeah, kind of big shoes. All the, yeah. yeah, the expectations that would come with that. Those were those are real questions. I'd also just say the way I'm wired, I I naturally ask questions. I'm kind of philosophic, philosophical in my thinking and my approach to things. Always kind of want to know why and just give me a reason for something mm -hmm. when somebody makes a claim. So I think it's the way God has just built me. And third, some of my own questions in terms of going through a real season of doubt, mm -hmm. even in college at a Christian school, I really got online and this is kind of mid nineties and started reading some of the early websites that were built responding to a lot of my dad's books, like evidence mm -hmm. that demands a verdict. And I got on there as a 19, 20 year old kid and saw these doctors and lawyers and historians going chapter by chapter, just trying to dismantle my dad's stuff. And it was pretty unsettling. I knew my dad mm -hmm. was smart and meant well, but seeing that kind of stuff and just not as prepared as I, well, I don't know that any 20 year old is really prepared right. to answer all of that. And my parents did a great job, but I started thinking, I gotta have answers to this. And then people like William Lane Craig and JP Moreland and, and N.T. Wright through time and Gary Habermas, these thinkers just had a huge influence on me. And so as I looked at the next generation coming up, I remember thinking, gosh, they're growing up in a world where there's endless questions, the challenges I face. If I'm going to effectively reach this generation, apologetics seems like a pretty interesting and relevant and critical approach to take.